All right, good morning, everyone. Before I get into the video, I'd like to thank a longtime subscriber of mine who uh, frequently comments on my videos. Um, his name is Dylan White 6503 uh, I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you helping me make the dream come true. Um, I will be able to monetize and start making ad revenue off this channel uh, probably within the next month or two months. So I appreciate you, Dylan. I uh, hope you're doing well, brother. Okay, uh, so with that message out of the way, uh, guys, you know I always appreciate my long-term subscribers and commenters. Uh, you really help my, this channel in the algorithm, help recommend me to other finance channels. Uh, I obviously know which category I'm in. So, uh, of course, every time that you like, comment, or dislike, uh, that helps me in the algorithm. So I appreciate that very much, guys. Um, all right, so let's start with the dollar index on the weekly time frame. And, you know, I really don't think a whole lot of analysis really needs to be done here. Um, we do have something of a mitigation block, which is a low, a high, and then a lower high. And the mitigation blocks tend to be traded through. Not every time, but they tend to be traded through. So, so first, guys, the, the dollar index to me looks like it is going to continue to go higher. Um, I don't think that this inverted order block, so just looking at that black candle, looking at the midway point of that, I think that's the first target would be um, I don't know how do I I don't know if I can get this number on the right. Yeah, I don't think I can get that that number on the right. Anyways, guys, it's 107.715. Um, so, anyways, um, I don't believe that that black candle is going to stop price. I think that the dollar index is going to trade up and through the sell set imbalance, buy set inefficiency, and that the low of that candle comes in at 102 spot 226. And then the next thing, ladies and gentlemen, although I know there's no ladies that watch this channel, but anyways, gentlemen, uh, I mean, I, I wish there were, like, really. Um, wish there were more women in trading. Why not? Um, but anyways, uh, 102 spot 272 is that order block mean threshold. And I think that it's, it's not impossible for the dollar index to get back up to 102 spot 732. And... And so I think that it's possible that this week the, the dollar index does trade up to the mean threshold of this bearish order block here. I certainly think it's, it's looking to come and fill in 102, 102 spot 226. Uh, I think that's likely. At a minimum, guys, this, these pair of black candles, the, middle, the midpoint of that candle right there, 102 spot 715, I would see that as very likely. Um, I'm looking for a risk off week for the week of... Uh, July 24th to July 28th, looking at the dollar index, I don't think that that's going to stop price. Uh, I do think the dollar index is going to want to trade higher this week. So overall, I'm looking for a risk off sentiment. All right, let's get to the ES. Guys, we can see that the ES recently traded up and through this volume imbalance, and we even traded up into that sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, quite, quite literally perfectly, right? Um, what I'm looking on the ES, the the my prediction on the ES would be the midway point of that black candle, and that's 44.50 spot 75. Um, that would kind of be my weekly target. This uh, this order block here, the midway point of that black candle, I predict that price is going to want to draw lower on the ES to this order block mean threshold, potentially lower, but but I think that's the first target I would look at would be uh, 44.50 spot 75, so that black candle right there on the weekly chart. So overall, uh, like I said, I think the dollar index is looking uh, risk off, and then looking at the ES, I think the ES does want to draw lower. I anticipate, I expect that the ES is going to want to draw lower this week. And then with the NASDAQ, um, I see the same thing. Uh, I personally uh, anticipate and predict that price would at least want to trade back to 15,271 spot 75. Now guys, quick disclaimer because I'm using the terms predict and expect. Uh, I'm not advising you to buy or sell a security or futures or do anything with your money. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Uh, the reason I'm saying predict and expect is because I believe that as a day trader you must do those things. You must predict price. Uh, I mean that's obviously what you're doing when you put on a position, right? So. That's why I'm saying those things. It's not because I'm advising you to do anything with your money. Um, 
So 15,271 spot 75, I see that as a, as a likely target on the NASDAQ. And that would be the midway point of that black candle right there. Uh, I'm seeing the same sort of idea on the ES. Uh, dollar index, you know, I'm seeing it trade through this SIBI, maybe up to the mean threshold of this bear sort of block, which would indicate, again, a risk off sentiment. Uh, Euro dollar here on the weekly chart. Again, I'm seeing strength in the dollar. I think the Euro dollar is going to want to trade down to the high of that candle. One spot 10, 125 this week. I see that as, as a very reasonable target. Um, it's also an inverted fair value gap here. And so I would look at the low of this candle, uh, and that would be one spot 10, 240, which would be right there, guys. So I see that as, as, a, as a reasonable target here um, on the Euro dollar. Let's just take a quick look at crude oil. Um, I think crude oil is going to want to come up and probably trade maybe this week to the midpoint of that green candle, that bearish candle, 79 spot 69, guys. Okay, so in this video, I shouted out a commenter. Uh, you know, I appreciate all, all the people that comment on this channel and help me achieve my dreams. Uh, that That's very, I'm very thankful for that. Um, and then we talked about how I think this is going to be a risk on week. I'm expecting the dollar to trade higher. I'm expecting the ES to overall trade lower. And I'm expecting the NASDAQ to trade lower. I'm expecting the euro dollar uh, to trade lower. And I'm expecting the uh, crude oil to trade higher. Okay, guys, so this has been the week ahead uh, for the ES, NASDAQ, crude oil, and dollar index for the week of July 24th to July 28th. Bye-bye.